We are now ready to convert our layout into a PDF. And to do that, we can either export or we can publish. To export, we can go to the application button and go to export and choose PDF. And in this dialog box, we have everything set up for us, ready to export our current layout. Now we can choose to export all layouts if we wish. And we're also set to the current page setup. And we can choose to override and set a new page setup if we wanted to. Otherwise, just leave all the settings at their default values and choose a folder to save your work in and choose a file name. There is an options menu and the only thing I want to really highlight in here is that we have an option to include layer information and you can choose whether you want that on or off. I'm going to leave it on, so I'm going to just cancel out of here. I'm going to choose the option to open in the viewer when it's finished. That means it will open up in your default PDF viewer and click save. And once it's done, it will open up our PDF. And you can see that we have our layout here and we have an option on the far left here called layers. And you can see that in Adobe Acrobat Reader, I can choose to switch on and off those individual layers. Now, this is a really good feature because it means that I can send this PDF to my client and they could actually switch on and off the individual layers um, from view if they wanted to. Instead of exporting to PDF, we could choose to publish. And for this, we would go to the red application button and choose publish. And the first thing it asks is what format do we want to publish to? And here I'm going to choose PDF. And you can see we've got the same options as we had in the exporting menu um, in terms of PDF options. And you can see that I can choose to include layer information or not. The next thing is to choose the sheets that I want to publish. And you can see that my model is in here and I don't want that. So I can right click and select remove, which leaves me my layout. And I can choose a different page setup if I wish or leave it as default. And the last option here is publish in background. Now I'm going to choose to untick that. However, you can leave that ticked and what it will do is allow you to carry on working in AutoCAD whilst it publishes in the background. If you've got a really good computer, then you could choose to have that option switched on. Otherwise, I would leave that switched off. And the last thing I'm going to do is switch on the opening viewer when done. And once you're happy, you can then select publish, choose a file location and a file name and once you're happy, hit select. It will ask you if you want to save this current list of sheets. And if you do, you can otherwise hit no. And it will then generate a PDF for you. And it's as simple as that. A shortcut for publishing multiple page PDFs is to hold down control and select all of your tabs on your layouts, right click and select publish selected layouts. This will take you straight to the publish dialog and it will have the sheets already selected in there. You can then carry on as before with publishing. And that's it.